Good morning, Wayfam from Paris. Today we are headed to Dusseldorf, Germany. I'm Josh. And I'm Ashley. If you like our content, be sure to subscribe and hit the little bell so you can follow more of our adventures here in Europe. Let's go. Today is day three or four. I feel like I've lost count of our epic Europe rail travel road trip. I was gonna say road trip, <laughs> but we're on a train this whole time. Oh, man. We're doing four countries over six days and it has been awesome. We're going yeah. to Dusseldorf today. We're doing a beer tour and there's so much more to come. Yeah, we were in Amsterdam. Now we're in France and we are headed to Germany. We are in premium class, which is extra special because we're going to get breakfast on this four hour train ride, but we want to go through the train and show you guys all the different classes you can stay in and enjoy while taking a train ride. I'm getting myself all set up. We've got four hours in the train, so I've got my laptop plugged in and there's power down here. So I've got my converter plugged in to charge some batteries and power my computer. It's going to be pretty good. Bonjour, Patty. No, that's hello. Oh shoot. <laughs> Bonsoir. Bonsoir. Yeah, au revoir. Au revoir, Betty. Bonsoir. <laughs> it's early, that's my excuse. Uh. <laughs> So we've been given our breakfast. We were given two options. We could have a little raspberry cake, but I chose to go with the savory option today, which is like jamon and cheese, uh, which is here. Ooh. This is the main course, I think. Oh. <laughs> Although I don't know if there are courses. <laughs> we get some delicious breads, and he gave us the option of um, jams, which all looked delicious. Yeah, and but I, tell me what you got. And I did like the um, cherry one I had last time, but this time, I'm going with the Dutch sprinkles. These things are the bomb. It's Ooh. a legitimate breakfast food. Lunch too, I think. Like, Who ever thought of having sprinkles on toast and calling it a meal? People with good taste, apparently. Geniuses. Mm. <laughs> I think the next course, we have some fruit. Pineapple, one of my favorite fruits. And pear yogurt. That's not something that we normally have in the US, I don't think. Or at least not a flavor I normally choose. And I got some orange juice and some coffee. I'm all set, ready for breakfast, fill myself up for the day, and then, you know, go and do fun things in Germany. All right, a lot of you guys have been asking us about train travel and what to expect, and we thought we'd take a little time in this video to actually show you a little bit around the train, Talos train that we're taking. We are partnered with Talos, but we have taken them before when we were headed from Paris, I think, to Amsterdam. It, it's a really fast train. They're high speed trains, so you're able to get from place to place really yeah, easily. We're going 180 miles an hour yeah. right now. <laughs> Crazy. Um, because we're partnered with them, we are staying in premium, which is extra nice. But all the classes I think are really good. Like for a four hour ride, it's not a problem. They have three different classes. They start with the standard, and they have comfort, and then they have premium. Um, I believe the standard is considered second class, and then the comfort and premium are considered both first class. classes on the train are standard, comfort, and premium. Basically standard is just a chair and Wi-Fi. Comfort, you have slightly bigger seats, it's better Wi-Fi. In premium, you get a meal, coffee, and Wi-Fi, power plugins, bigger seats. It's all very, very nice. And to be honest, you don't actually pay that much more for the different options. Welcome to Dusseldorf. Guten Tag. Hey, nice. We're in Germany now. We're gonna go hit the hotel, and then immediately we're gonna have a beer tour, city tour, and we're gonna get the road or hit the road. Let's get it. Yeah. <laughs> In Paris, we stayed at a 25 hours hotel. It was awesome. You guys saw some shots from the very beginning, walking through the lobby and stuff. 
they are partnered with Talese, so we're partnered with them. Basically, we're staying at 25 hours again here in Dusseldorf. This one, I can't tell from the outside, but I'm sure it's gonna be really cool. We're gonna go see what it looks like. Ashley has already found refreshments. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. I like how these hotels actually have really interesting lobbies. Each one we've been to is really cool looking. It's so beautiful. There's a bunch of fresh flowers in the front. When I walked in, it was like so bright and cheery. And this is iced tea. Ooh. Amazing. Nice. Eleven nine. Oh, that's a window. Oh. <laughs> I was looking to the left and didn't see to the right. <laughs> hey, here we are. This is like an apartment. It's a view. So cool. And they have them all over in Europe, but man, these are nice hotels and they have the best continental breakfast I think oh, I've ever had seriously. in a hotel. It was amazing I'm actually upset that we didn't film it because it was some of the best hotel food we've ever I had. I took Instagram stories. Oh, so there you go, at Way Away Mag. Yeah, <laughs> but we do get complimentary breakfast tomorrow morning and a German breakfast. Ooh, that's one that of my favorites. Be delicious. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that tallest building over there, we are going to the top of that. That We're guy? Gonna eat there, I think. Let's look in the restroom. Super nice. Yeah, good I, design. I really like the light coming in through here, like it's not closed areas. Oh, that's it's the actually. shower. Yeah, the shower right here. Hold on, you can, the shower is like in close proximity to the bed, but you still have like a tiny bit of privacy. Yeah. So if you don't want me looking, then I'll have to sit on the bed, I guess, mm -hmm. while you shower. <laughs> hey, speak for yourself. Yeah, this is, and this is really cool. I actually really like the design of the um, tile like this. It's like, mm. not symmetrical, but what's the word? I think overall, 25 hours has super good design. I'm happy yeah. with the choice here. <laughs> and we can even play with Legos. Nice. How fun. But, we're here. We gotta get going. <laughs> it's lunchtime and we're hungry, so we're gonna head into the you know what? That tower out of our window looked so nice. I think we're gonna have lunch there. To be honest, I don't know really anything about Dusseldorf. All the other place cities that we've been to, I've been to before, but Dusseldorf is brand new to me. I had no clue they had a TV tower, the Rhine Tower, and that you could have lunch in it but I'm super excited that we get to enjoy it. And I can't wait for the view from the top. Okay, we lied. They only have snacks, so pretzel it is. I don't look back, but it probably looks freaky for you. Let go. <laughs> like, you're, you're on it. I'm, I'm on the window. How many of you would do this? Let us know in the comments. <laughs> to be honest, I'm scared. Yeah. Are you? Uh, it was best not looking. If I went forward, it would be scarier. Way scarier. The weather has turned a little bit, and so we're gonna drink beer indoors. It's like five major homebrew ales that are made here in Dusseldorf. Apparently, Dusseldorf is like an ale city, whatever yeah. that means. And so when they say homebrewed, it actually is done by families yeah. who live here in the city of Dusseldorf, and they are creating this, so they're not like mass-produced Exactly. Beers. I love that we're gonna get like literally local beers, drank by locals, made in the local style. And apparently this is like the old-fashioned way of making beer. Yeah. It's more similar to how like monks used to make it, but more controlled. He said we'll have lagers and pilsners? No, he said ales. Ales, ales. Are, yeah. are lagers and pilsners ales? I don't think so. No, we're having yeah, ales. ales. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, it's wet out here. <laughs> Definitely a, a perfect time to get a beer. Into the morning. He said it was a ladies' beer. It's okay. It's not terrible. <laughs> hey, again, another glowing review from Ashley on alcohol. It's not horrible. It's good. It's pretty smooth, actually. This is roasted malt or barley. I've never tasted it before. But in our case, in our city, it works like this. They take this malt and roast it for It's like hay. And our tour guide just told us that this is the little river Dussel or Deuce Dussel. What a dwarf. So that's where it comes from. Dusseldorf is from the little river that runs through the city and it actually just goes right out to the Rhine, which is a river we've already fallen in love with. <laughs> Off to next. Next. Hmm. This how is many, gonna go how well. much beer have you had? Wow. <laughs> <Not> much. <laughs> So in the last place we were corrected, Josh and I clinked the top of our glass. But supposedly that is not how you do it. When you are drinking a lager, you can do the top. But when you do an ale, you do the bottom. That specifically is because the glasses that these normally are served in, we're on a tour so we have smaller glasses, the um, top of the lager one is really thin and so it can break if you clink on the top. So you just clink it on the bottom, you're safe, your glass doesn't break, and then you can enjoy your meal. Did you just call beer a meal? I never will order a beer. People live here, go to brewers, never will order a beer. You go to a brewers and wait. Uh -huh. and the waiter will come and serve. Uh -huh. And the reason that in the brewers you are a guest, but never the king or the queen, you're the only place where the waiter serves the beer, means you have no rights, only duties. Or you disturb, but one person has to pay. So you take a look. We are consumers with less beer in the glass, a new glass beside, and a new line. And so the first beer you get in a brewer's is a little bit like a subscription. That, that's the reason. <laughs> and if you don't want to drink anymore, you have to tell him, say, it's enough for you. Wow. So you get a beer, a new beer, a new beer, a new beer. He's better. He's I feel like we did Dusseldorf in style for only like, what, 12 hours here? Yeah, we weren't here very long. The city, the architecture of the city is so incredibly so interesting. So many architecture. Uh, um, wow. It was really, really cool to see a bunch of the different cities, or a bunch of the different buildings and enjoy our time today. Um, it did rain, which was unfortunate. Fair. But we made luckily, that for with beer. Yeah, luckily we got to go inside mm -hmm. places and sip some German beer. Germany is a place that we will be back very, very shortly. Absolutely. So if again, if you guys are just following along with the series, uh, this is six days, four countries across Europe with Telly's, our partner for these videos. Yeah. Telly's is running a promotion right now. So if you book now, you can get a really good price on something later in the summer. Yeah. Check the link for the specific details. The link is in the description. But the general rule is if you book three to four months ahead of time with Telly's, um, you can get the best pricing available. The specifics on the promotion right now is that the more people that you book, the cheaper your price gets. So that's really cool, a uh, really cool bit about it. Yeah, and for those of you who are traveling in the summertime, which a ton of people come to Europe during the summer, exactly. so it's a great time. I hope you guys enjoyed our tour of the rail and um, yeah. the train. I think it's really cool to be able to show you exactly what you can expect when you're going on there, except that Talis is working on um, revamping all of their trains, which Brand is really, really trains. exciting. Yeah, it, they're going to be absolutely beautiful. All right, my fam, we are going to go to sleep. It's been another long day, then, but a great day. And then head to Brussels in the morning. Yeah. So head to Belgium. Wayfam, I hope we encourage you to get there and travel today. Come on a Eurorail trip of Europe. Do it. It's awesome. It Can is. recommend. Yeah. And we'll see you in the next video in Brussels. Um. How do you say it in German? Auf Wiedersehen and guten Nacht. Auf Wiedersehen!
A huge shout out to all of our patrons who helped make this video possible. If you want to follow more, go to Instagram at wayawaymag. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and don't forget to check out our second channel, Way More, if you want to see way more from us.